monthly favorites and not so favorites video for you guys. Um, in my first video, it was a lookbook, so I didn't really get the chance to introduce myself. But yeah, I figure what better way to get to know me than to know the things that I did and did not like for the month of October. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so the first favorite that I have is this nail polish by Wet n Wild. Oh, actually, these two nail polishes by Wet n Wild. I'm sorry, I'm like so bad at this. I'm you guys. So I have these two nail polishes by Wet n Wild in the colors Undercover and Sugar Coat. Um, I really like them. They're very like easy to put on, um, like because they have this like special type of brush that makes it easier to put them on. It's like a flatter, wider brush, and that makes it a lot easier to put on the nails. And it's also cruelty free. So yeah, and it's also like a dollar. Like Wet n Wild is just Wet n Wild is big. So the next favorite that I have. Is um, this dry shampoo by Not Your Mother's. This is actually the first time that I've ever used a dry shampoo, which is honestly pretty disgusting because I ha I wash my hair once a week, and the fact that I was not using a dry shampoo before is so gross. But um, yeah, this just leaves my hair feeling really fresh, and um, it's cruelty free and. It doesn't leave behind any disgusting residue in my hair either, so I highly recommend this if you are looking for a nice dry, dry shampoo. Alright guys, so the next favorite I have is probably my favorite thing in this video. Um, I'm super excited about this. Okay, but anyways, um, it's this. I know it looks like an e-cigarette or something, but I swear I, I don't do that shit. But um, no, this is um, called the... Precision Perfect Trimmer by Philips, and it looks like an e-cig, what can you do? Um, it looks like an e-cig, but if you lift it up, it has this like little razor thing, and it, like, it does this, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm super hairy, like, low-key, high-key, super hairy. Um, I get hair like all over my legs, all over my arms, all over my tummy, all over my everything and yeah um this is really good for my mustache and my eyebrows um in the past i've used like nair for your face on my mustache and that's disgusting i i would rather not do that um because that's gross and um i haven't really found any wax that like does it well enough without like hurting me so I I don't want to shave like I don't know like this is this is all right so that's it for my beauty favorites I think um so why don't we do beauty dislikes now because I'm very 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 excited about this Okay, so the first thing, the first thing is, it's this shit, okay, this fucking shit, so you can see this shit, look at this shit, okay, it's called St. Tropez Self Tanning Mousse or something, okay, I don't fucking know, okay, so let me give you a little backstory about why I even need to buy this, because I don't self tan, like, I'm pasty and I'm proud, like, I don't care. But the thing is, is that over the summer, I worked at a pool as a waitress at a country club. But anyways, so over there, I got like the worst farmer's tan in the entire world. I look like Hank Hill, and that was unacceptable. And um, there was this event I was going to where I needed to wear a tank top, and I didn't want to wear a tank top. Well, I tried the tank top on the out with my Hank Hill farmer's tan and I looked like a fucking idiot so I was like alright let me go and buy some self tanner and I was broke and I couldn't find anything that was cruelty free and I found this Saint 
what was even fucking called? St. Maurice? Maurice? I don't know. Okay, I looked up online and I found very like misleading stuff. Like, I found like, I said, I saw that on some websites it was like in this gray area, but then on other websites or blogs or whatever, it did say that it was cruelty free. So I wasn't sure who to believe. Um, but I just bought it anyways. Um, it was like 12 bucks. It was super cheap. I bought it and it didn't do shit to me, honestly. Like, it didn't tan me at all. I still had a farmer's tan. Um, yeah, it just didn't work. It didn't even work on like anything. <laughs> it didn't work and it sucks and don't waste your money like I did. Um, I just had to grow with my farmer's tan, you know, like, that's just the way life is sometimes. Sometimes you slay, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you look like fucking Hank Hill. Like, Hank Hill can slay. If you were Hank Hill, flaunt that shit. Work it, okay? Like, you are Hank Hill. I'm not even in focus. Okay, so my next beauty dislike is by this. It's, oh, it's by Physicians Fish... Phys Physicians Formula, and it is their highlighter. I don't know, okay? I bought this Physicians Formula. I i don't think I've ever used any of their stuff in the past before, but I wanted to try them out, and I needed a highlighter, so I bought this because it looked so pretty in the store, and I put this on my face, and it literally doesn't do shit. Like, nothing. There is no highlight. The highlight is imaginary like this didn't do anything at all um my friend recommended wedding it and i did that and still nothing i don't know if i'm too pale for this or what but it just didn't work for me and if you guys love it that's great like i'm happy for you i guess but it just didn't work for me and yeah i guess I don't know, yeah, just fuck it, yeah, I think it just broke. Okay, so next we have something I'm actually even more excited about than my dislikes, and that is my non-beauty favorites, or whatever. So, for food, or I guess this is food, I have... This chai tea latte mix from Trader Joe's. Spicy chai tea latte mix. I've just recently gotten into drinking coffee because I'm a college freshman. Like, the addiction needed to start somehow. So it started this this month, okay? And um, I love chai tea lattes. I used to drink them all the time at this old job I used to have. And I just started drinking them again. They're amazing. And you are just not feeling it and you're exhausted. This is really good. It doesn't go bad. It smells like heaven. It smells like a little baby, like gingerbread man. And it's amazing. You should definitely get it if you want, like, chai tea latte on the go, like, at all times. It's not even in focus, but I'll, like, do a close-up of it. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, <laughs> my next favorite is a book. Ooh. But this is not just any book. This is this is the Bible. No, I'm just kidding. Um, this is a book called *The Intelligent Investor* by Benjamin Graham, and I have been interested in investing for a really long time. And I figured that since I'm 18 years old, um, why not like try to learn as much as I can about it now, so that I can invest in the future? Because I feel like when I get older. Like, I will really, really regret not investing. That's just something that I feel like, especially now when I'm young, because the younger you are, like, the more risky you can be with your money because the repercussions are not as great or whatever. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna start investing, but I really wanna read a bunch of books first just because I wanna be very knowledgeable. Um, this particular book was really, really helpful to me and it helped me get like a basic understanding of you know the stock market stuff you know like adult stuff but um if you are going to get this book <clears throat> i would highly recommend getting the updated one with the new commentary by jason zui zui i don't know but um 
yeah, if you do that, like, it'll just make it, like, a lot easier to understand because he kind of, like, puts these little, like, notes in here that, like, kind of just help you because this book was written a very, very long time ago, but this information is, like, still relevant today. Um, so if you are interested in investing, girl, buy you this book or boy. Like, I don't want to watch my videos. Does anyone even watch my videos? Let's be real. But yeah, if you are interested, like, definitely check this book out. I highly recommend it. Alright, well, that's all the physical stuff I have, but I'm not done. Um, okay, so now we're going to go on to other favorites. So, other favorite this month has been um, this anime by the name of Paradise Kiss. And this anime is by the same... Well, the manga for the anime was written by the same girl who wrote Nana, and Nana is literally one of the best anime of all time. And if you're not one, if you haven't watched Nana yet, you are not living. You need to stop what you're doing right now. Go watch Nana, okay? But I decided to give Paradise Kiss a try. It's been on my to watch list for a very long time, but I just decided I just decided to watch it this month, and I really liked it. Um, it's about fashion and like teenage girls shit. Yeah, the typical stuff. But um, honestly, like I feel like the series, like I really liked the premise of it and I really liked an anime about fashion. It's very different. Um, there's not a lot of anime about fashion. If you know of any anime about fashion, please recommend them to me. Um, but I really like the premise of it, but I feel like it could have been delivered better if it had more time to like develop itself, if that makes any sense. I feel like the story moved super fast, and I haven't read the manga, but if the, ma the manga is probably like slower, because the mangas are always better, but um, I don't know if the manga is worth reading or not. If you've read the manga, please tell me if I should read the manga as well or not, just tell me you guys' opinions, but yeah, this was really good, you should watch the show, or read the manga, if the manga's better, I don't know, but yeah, it's a good show. Alright, so the next favorite is mm, probably like the highlight of my month, let's be real. Okay, so um, there's this movie called Kizumo no Gatari. Or the series, the Monogatari series, if you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're probably going like, what the fuck is she saying? Like, who is this girl? Okay, but no. Um, so, Kizu Monogatari is this movie series, it's like the prequel to the anime, and um, the first part came out back in February, and I watched it at the theaters when it came out, and I got a poster. And the second part just came out this or last month, and they were only showing it in the theater where I lived for like one day. So I had to buy my tickets like months in advance. But let me tell you, it was so worth it. Like, of course, I got another poster. My collection is almost complete. But also, the movie so freaking good. Like, the soundtrack was amazing. Cinematography amazing. Directing amazing. Like. Everything about this movie was, it was cash, it was lit, it was money, it was good, okay? Like, if you want to watch a good anime movie, watch this movie, it is great. Um, I'm trying to find the soundtrack on YouTube, but I don't think that it's come out yet, because this is part two to the movie, I don't even know what it's called, but I know part one is Teketsu, I, I think, I don't know. I should have probably looked this up before I filmed this video made a fool of myself, but whatever. We're just gonna go with it. But yeah, this movie's really, really good. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, the fighting scenes are beautiful. Ugh. Like, the music is so good. The characters are so good. Like, Araragi looks hot as fuck in this movie. I don't know why he only looks hot in this movie. But he was just, mm, he was delicious in this movie. And yeah, like, if you've watched Monogatari series, you're awesome, first of all. One of my favorite anime series. I love it. Um, if you watch the series, watch the movie. The movie's great. The movie's 
way better than part one, and part one was also amazing, so that says a lot. Okay, but I think that's it, guys. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. Might be another talking video, might not be. We'll see. Um, but yeah, uh, bye guys!